we've got Betty out and she's getting ready to head home. So we want to put a little ball on tape, show you where she finished up at. She's a good girl. Um, the biggest thing is, is controlling her when she sees another dog. Um, I, I do think that is a problem. I haven't had her out with any um, of my dogs yet. I really wanted to bring Ziggy up and try her with him um, because I do think that is the problem. I think she, she is probably dog aggressive just by her reaction. I can control it most of the time, but if it catches me unaware, she will try to take me off my feet. So that can be a very big problem. But otherwise, overall, I think she's pretty easy to control. She really likes to get out and work. Um, so that's a good thing for her too. I think she needs to get out and do a little bit. But overall, she's done a really good job. So we're going to put her through her paces and show you what she's learned. Good girl, Betty. Okay. Good job. Yeah. I know. Wind's a little chilly. Come on. Hey. That's it. Thank you. Supposed to do that automatically. That was a bad one. Stay. We've been working on talking and tugging. So if I tug, no. If I tug, she should tug back. Did you forget? Stay. Go ahead, stay. We've been working on it. <laughs> Obviously, she had other thoughts in mind this morning. All the way back to her side. No. You're not getting a reward for that. That was awful. Okay. Come here. Sit. Hey. Stay. I could see that she was very distracted during that stay. So I maybe should have reinforced that it was a stay when I went back to her. Betty, no. Just look. Good. Stay. We'll go down. Okay. Now I will reward you. That was much better. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Knees up. When you turn left, just get her back a little bit. You don't, if you can't use your knees, use the leash. Just pull back as touch. She's a little slow on the sit. I think that's the larger breed in her. Let's go. Good. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I got you. You got to move with me. Doing a right turn. She wasn't paying attention. Got a little bit of a correction. Sit. No sit Betty today, huh? Stay. I work on talking and movement. Add those distractions in week two. So I'm going to move side to side. I don't want to go more than about 45 degrees. Again, all the way back to her side. She can get up, and I like to release to that reward. Okay, so earlier, that's what I was trying to get. That was a much better one. Yes, it was. All right, come on. Let's go. Hurry. Good. That was better. You weren't watching again. That's why I make sudden turns. Kind of do some loop-to-loop -loop stuff like that. This is for attention. In town people, I tell them this is a driveway turn. Go halfway up a driveway. Come right back. Go to the end of your block. Turn left, turn right. Get her going. Make her pay attention. Let's go. Good. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Good. 
Like I said, it's just slow. It's there, but it's just slow. All right, you want to do some runs? Ready? Get it. Betty, come, hurry. Hey, good girl. Ready? Get it. Good, Betty, come. Get it. Betty, come. Get it. Betty, come. Good. Now, she wasn't a big jumper to begin with. So I think that's, you know, something that was a positive thing for her. Freebie, did you find it? Get it. <gasps> Get it. Betty, come. Get it. Betty, come. <gasps> that one was smaller. She didn't see it. Sit. Good girl. But if you need to run out a little bit of energy, just take her out in the backyard and play some of these games with her. It's really a great way to run out some energy and to have a dog do something constructive, especially with, tra with training. She did it down at the beginning and we've been working down on her place. Place is not, a, is not a crate command. This is a bed command. So you can use this in your house if you want her to lay down at your feet or something like that. I always try to tell people to give them some kind of something to lay on. So, you know, my house, it's dog beds. Obviously, I have more than one um, around my house. But some people like just a uh, bath mat, something like that. Something that's a little different than what your floor is. Betty. Okay, get it. Place. Good. All the way. Sit. Lay down. Down. All the way. No cheating. Down. Come here. Betty, down. We're going to help. Down. Just kind of side. There it is. Good. Down. Okay. So I just help just a little bit on the shoulders. Good girl. Okay, go get it. Betty, place. Good. Sit. Do another one. Down. Good. I'm helping just a little bit. Just a little push on the shoulders. Now, notice I never said stay because a bed command is not a stay command. That's why I teach her they can sit up, lay down, get off on this side, get off on that side, wherever I want them to get off. They just can't get off until they're released. The release command, just like everything we do in training. Betty. Betty. Okay. Good job. All right, place. Good. All the way. I know you can be a little bit stubborn. That's why I'm still tr throwing the treats up there. Good. Good girl. <laughs> so that's where she's at at the end of two weeks. I think she's done a fabulous job. She's really done everything I've asked of her and done it willingly. I think that willing personality, whatever she's mixed with might be golden, I think, because she does have that willing golden personality, which is very nice. Um, but a little bit of that aggressiveness with dogs, and we're just going to have to watch. So we're going to put her up, give her a bath, get her all cleaned up. We'll see how she does when you get here.